I for this class is some experience required so if you're a beginner please go check my previous videos. Let's start in tabletop pose. Palms under the shoulders, spread in the fingers. Let's bend the elbows and drop them down on the floor and repeat a few more times extending the arms and bending the elbows externally rotating the shoulders that's an excellent warm-up for the shoulders and is also strengthening the muscles not just opening the shoulders combine this with the breath and let's continue with the protracting and retracting the shoulder blades so do not squeeze the shoulders together try to move only your shoulder blades which will happen with the muscles in your mid section of the back this will correct your posture will keep your spine straight in your daily life and uh, we'll keep your shoulders open it will take some time so don't give up if it's not working from the first time let's bend the elbows and let's perform the cat cow pose on forearms inhaling arch in the spine dropping the belly back lifting the head up excellent round in the spine head goes towards the chest and let's go forward and back and to make it more interesting we can extend the elbows and go back round in the spine dropping the elbows in Helen come forward arch in the spine and continue a few times with your arm breath that's a bit more interesting version of the cat cow pose which will also improve your agility just just an option if this is too complicated for you you can just stick to the to the normal cat cow pose or just warm up your shoulders with the elbows down on the floor and come back into the elbow top pose to the toes under lifting the hips pushing the chest towards the knee our first down facing Push dog. With the palms towards the ground, make sure your thumbs and your index finger are not lifting. Internally rotating the forearm, externally rotating the shoulders. Looking up towards the navel, drawing the belly in, and lifting the hips high. Bicycle the legs, one leg is straight, one leg is bent. Pushing the heels towards the ground, feel the stretch in your hamstring. And let's shift forward into high plank. Exhaling back into down dog. Inhaling, come forward plank. A few more times with your arm breath. That's an excellent warm up for the shoulders, strengthening the shoulders. Strengthening the deep core muscles, improving your posture. You can keep the spine slightly round as you go into plank, taking the tailbone in, pushing with the heels towards the ground. And let's come into downward facing dog, lifting the right leg up, bending the knee, drawing circles. And let's draw a circle in the other direction, warming up to the hip joints, extend the leg, three leg dog, inhale and exhale and draw the knee towards the chest, step it forward, stay here for a moment and let's extend that right knee and let's bend it and a few more times to lubricate the joints, to stretch gently the hamstring and the back side of the body. And last time let's reach the arms up into warrior one or ashta chandrasana if it's too difficult for your hips and let's open to the side 
into warrior 2 and do the right fingertips rub the thighs and the feet towards each other and draw in the belly in pushing the shoulder blades towards each other in half reverse warrior looking up don't change the position of the pelvis and exhale extended side angle right arm on the floor reaching over your head stretch the left side of your body and let's bind the palms behind your back wrapping around that right thigh looking up and pushing that left shoulder back in line with the right one and let's extend the right leg Uttita Trikonasana looking up towards your fingertips and let's place the weight of the body on the right foot right fingertips on the floor lifting the left leg parallel to the ground and let's bend the knee and grab the foot foot is kicking inside of the palm draw the belly in keep the shoulders away from the heels feel the stretch in the front side of your hip flexors slowly release bending the right leg come back into warrior two warrior one palms on the ground and step it back plank exhale chaturanga inhale upper facing downward facing exhale and left leg up three leg dog bend the knee draw circle warming up the hip joint change the direction and let's extend that left leg up into three leg dog for a moment without opening the pelvis pelvis remain parallel to the ground feel the stretch in the hip flexor and let's step it forward and let's bend and extend that left knee a few times feeling the stretch in your hamstring gently warming up the legs and working for the mobility inhaling lift into warrior one or into Ashta chandrasana whatever it's fine for you and as you exhale let's open the pelvis to the right side warrior two you might want to slide that right foot a little bit further to the back side of the mat and open your warrior Inhale and reverse the warrior looking up. Don't change the position of the pelvis, only feel the stretch in the left side of your body. Don't lift the shoulders, only rotating inside on the shoulder joint. Exhale and extend that side angle, reaching the arm over your head. Looking up. Don't lean on, on your palm, just use it as a balance to support, engage your core and internally rotating the shoulders, let's bind that side ankle, pushing with the feet towards the ground and let's continue with Uttita Trikonasana, left palm on the ground, extended left leg, left hip pushing forward, right hip pushing back let's place the weight of the body on the left foot left fingertips on the ground find your balance that's a difficult posture and right leg is parallel with the ground or let's bend that right knee and reach and grab the right foot behind it's important to not push it up instead push it to the side drawing the belly in and feeling the stretch in the front side of your right hip and your hip flexors Slowly release the bind, bending that left knee and stepping back into warrior two, extend the leg, warrior one, 
Hands on the floor, step it back, plank, exhale in Chaturanga. Upper facing, down. Find your downward facing dog. Rotate in the tailbone towards the sky and let's twist. Grab the left ankle with the right palm. Just for a breath, let's switch the side without changing the position of the hips and legs. Only twisting. And let's come forward into plank. Side plank, reaching the right arm up. Vashishtasana. Pushing the palm towards the ground, lifting. Lifting your hips up. Let's switch the side. And one more time to the other side. And this time we make it more difficult. See if you can do a tree pose variation. Or grab the big toe, extend the leg. That's a very difficult posture. It requires a lot of strength and a lot of flexibility. Maybe grabbing the big toe, you step it on the ground, laser pose. And let's try to bind that laser. That's also very challenging. And let's twist left palm on the ground, reach in the right up. And both palm on the inner side of the leg, step it back, plank, let's switch the side, left arm up, tree pose modification or keep the foot in the air or grab the big toe and push it up and back and let's place it with our palm on the ground, lizard pose, excellent hip opener. And let's pine the lizard, so try to place the left shoulder under the left knee, wrap it around your thigh, hold here for a moment, and let's twist to the left, right palm on the floor, reach in the left up towards the sky, or keep it on your thigh, and let's set it back, plank chaturanga. Inhaling up facing, exhaling down facing dog. Pushing with the spine towards the ground, lifting the hips. And let's do the dolphin pose. Pinch up breath, elbows on the ground as we did in the beginning. And drop the knees on the ground. Child pose, stay here. Allow your whole body to relax. 